Chinese law is a one child per couple policy as a, as a direct result in the clinics and in the programs that are run in the approximately 30 counties that the UNFBA oversees or has programs in or projects. In each and every one of those, they adhere to this one child per couple policy. Yes, they may say uh, you can choose to be sterilized or have an IUD insertion, one or the other, but you must have it. It is compulsory, it is involuntary. So they enforce the involuntariness, the compulsory nature, but they may give a choice as to what method a person may be able to follow. That is not voluntary. I would also point out that for 30 years, representatives of the UNFPA have said publicly again and again and again that the Chinese program is, quote, totally voluntary. Nothing I would submit to my good friend and colleague from New York could be further from the truth. There is nothing voluntary about this horrific program where women are treated like chattel. I have held 27 hearings as chairman of the Human Rights Committee of the Foreign Affairs Committee as a member of Congress. 27 hearings just on China. We have heard from numerous women who were forcibly aborted and they told the story about how it was told to them this was a voluntary abortion. They were coerced. They had sessions with cadres that wore them down. And over time, they submitted feeling they had no way to fight back. I had a woman testify. Her name is Wujian. She recently got asylum right here in the United States. She's, her, she had a well-founded fear of persecution based on the forced abortion policy a student at a major university here. She testified through tears how she was forcibly aborted, rounded up with other women, and she said at the clinic, which was voluntary, all of this is voluntary according to UNFPA, there were moms crying, rolling on the floor, and she said when they killed her baby and severed the baby's limbs with scissors and a curette, uh, that they, the, the nurse actually put a foot on her, near the top of her lapel, just, and she looked at the bloody foot and broke down crying. She could not finish her testimony. I'll provide that to the gentlelady if she'd like to see it. The UNFPA has enabled these crimes, and they are crimes against humanity. At the Nuremberg War Crimes Tribunal, forced abortion was properly construed to be a crime against humanity, because it was employed by the Nazis against Polish women. I think we, you know, people like Wei Jing Shang, Harry Wu, the great human rights activists, have all been very clear the one child per couple policy uh, is one of the worst violations, if not the worst, violations of human rights in scope and magnitude directed against women of, and, of course, the dead children who are the result. So, uh, you know, the UNFPA is a part of that. They defend it. And I, with all due respect to my good friend, uh, this funding of an organization that says that this is a voluntary program must cease because they give tangible assistance. I met finally with Pang Pei Yung, the woman who runs the program, ran the program. Yeah, I was in Beijing on one of many human rights trips there. She said to me over and over again in that conversation, the UNFPA is here and they see no coercion. There's no coercion. So I, I thank my friend for yielding and again, uh, we, we should direct our monies to other organizations, NGOs, to USAID. And I would also point out, you know, a dear colleague went out from some members on the other side of the aisle about obstetric fistula. I want to point out to my friends, I got a bill passed in this house uh, back in 2005 that established a fistula repair program for women in the developing world. It passed. Failed over in the Senate, but it passed. I went to Ken Hill who was then the Administrator of Health for USAID, and said, please take this and administratively put it into practice. We now have programs in 35, 35 different programs in 12 countries. 15,000 African and Asian women have had fistula repairs as a direct result of this program. We need to funnel our money into maternal health care and other health care interventions that will aid women, uh, especially those who suffer from such terrible things as obstetric fistula.